Here is breaking news in the Carlisha Hood, Jeremy Brown case. We now know what caused the fight. I call and clarify because I live in Chicago mm-hmm. and I just tuned into your show and people are, I hear these idiots saying like, what did she do? Mm-hmm. And the whole argument where people are failing to realize, like no one knows, like, oh my God, what was it about? It was because they prepared her food wrong and he felt like she was holding up the line. What? No one knows what caused it. Yes. She was asking them to just simply fix her food because the place that she goes to is like a place that everyone goes to and it's like they have a lot of things already prepared so it's very common that you may say I don't want any onions and everything is just prepared with it already so mm-hmm. like she was holding up the line that's why you hear him screaming get your food like in other words get your food I don't give a fuck if it's wrong you get the out the line a witness there Rahima Lewis who recorded the incident Spoke with Jedediah Brown. Right, so here, here we go. Here you all. This is Rahima Lewis. Can you kind of sort of walk us through that night? Okay. And I, I was on my way home with my friends. They wanted to stop. My friend and my cousin, they wanted to stop and get something to eat. So we stopped at the Maxwell on 116th Austin. When we got out of the car and we was proceeding into the restaurant, uh, the young lady and the man was already armed when I got there. So it was arguing when I got there. She was explaining to him some about the line. He kept on trying to get her to shut up. Like, if you don't shut up, I'm sure oh, my grandma kept on being, you know, aggressive with her. She, she was never aggressive. Let me get that part straight. Always stay calm and maintain herself. You know, she never got aggressive. So he kept on being, you know, telling her to be quiet, be quiet, shut up. So she, she was, uh, I guess her son had walked in at that point. And that's when you guys can hear the video, her telling her son to go to the car. And once she said, go to the car, y'all hear him say, go to the car, go to the car. Say one more thing, I'll get you on my, uh, be my grandma. And that's when he hit her. And everybody pushed me out the door and my phone fell. Fell on the I fell too in my phone. So. Wait, wait, wait! I didn't even know that. So you saying that the people who panicked pushed you down? Yeah, they pushed me down. I broke my phone, so I can't use my phone unless I get my uh. Stylus, you saw this incident. What made you record? I don't know, and I usually don't record. I just he was so aggressive. He just 